Hey, hope everything's going well for you. Uh, Thingiverse page is looking a little empty, so I think I'm going to update that today. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. Uh, I am Elliot. This is Revamped Outdoors, and I'm going to release uh, my cup holder STL today. If you don't know what that is, uh, I will post a thumbnail here and a link down in the description to check the video out. So this is essentially it. This is the first version that you can see in the video that I linked before. All it is is basically Y arms with an actual cup holder in there so you can fit your favorite beverage of choice. And then this is just mounted for a fishing rod holder on a boat. Uh, I also have included quite a few different mounting options because uh, I know not everybody has a boat they want to use this on and not everybody has these specific brand named whatever these are called rod holders so the idea with this then is that it's essentially a gimbal right we use gimbals for cameras quite a bit to stabilize the camera while we're shooting videos but this is just to do the same thing with a can of your choice of beverage whatever that may be but the idea then is that the weight of the liquid inside of the can or bottle bottle would also fit in here uh, keeps it down below uh, the center of gravity so then as it moves around it won't spill as much and I have tested it and it works quite well on my lawn tractor so I see no reason why it won't work on other things these are just few simple arms with 608 bearings so these are commonly referred to as skateboard bearings uh, let's see 608 ZZ so 608 ZZ these are yeah ABEC 5 so this is your common skateboard wheel bearing um, we probably have a lot of these sitting around because of the fidget, fidget, fidget spinner fidget spinner days that's why I kind of came up with this. I had a lot of these lying around because I was doing spool holders with them as well and had a few for fidget spinners, which I had no remorse taking them apart to make this. This is the first version of the print, uh, but we have some more versions, so I'll show you the new one. So this is the new version here. I print them out like this seems to work a little bit easier just to have it all into one uh, connected brim so if like one part wants to get a little bit squirrely it's kind of locked down to the larger parts seems to work well I'll break one of these apart real quick and I'll show you kind of how it goes together All operators are busy at this time please hold All right, so I got all the parts apart, 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 and uh, let's throw them in. So I modeled this up with uh, some pretty good clearance, I think. So this is gonna be the uh, bottom portion of the Y. Let's throw a bearing in there. Fits in pretty good. Might wanna super glue that in there if you want a more permanent solution. I haven't had one come out yet, but you know. On this uh, version, three or four or eight or whatever I'm on I don't even know but on this version of the arms I have actually um, made them inset a little more I don't know if you can see that because of this brim if you can get away without printing a brim do it because they're a pain it has a rounded edge on it there on the top so I like to have that opposite of this 45 degree cut so I just slide that down in and then what we can do is throw the other one onto the other side in the same orientation so I'll do that now slide it down in there so you got a little bit of a Y there all right, so then we just pop two into here. That's also another good reason for PTG uh, with that flex a little bit. 
So there you go. So they inset into there. And then it's just a function of orientating this with the 45 degree cut down and then we're gonna push those in so real simple this is also another good reason for PTG All right. make sure you clean off any stringing because that can be a problem pretty tight tolerance clearance tolerance so there we go. So now we have the 45 degree where my nose is that allows this to actually come back a little bit further than it used to. So there you go. Now you have this part with a bearing on the back ready to accept an end. So this is what I have worked on a little bit. We mostly have this, right? A lot of us have these GoPro mounts. If you don't, you can uh, print them off on Thingiverse. But what these allow you to do is uh, move some stuff around. So I figured if we could mount this to anything we wanted, and we could put this down into it, so then it's stuck this way, all the weight coming down like that, what if we just uh, printed out some of these different arms? So this one's like a 135 angle. This one's like a 45. This one's a 90. So these will stop it as you go. This one is still got the brim on, but this one is nothing. So it won't stop it at all. It'll just go however it wants. The idea with these then, I'll include these with the STL as well. The idea with these is they have the end that recesses into the bearing but then you can put them into any GoPro mount, right? So then we can tighten that up. So then that 90 will stop it. So what we can do then is place that in here. And then we have a removable cup holder for wherever you want to go. So that allows you to use it if you don't have a boat or if you don't have rod holders or whatever, fishing rod holders, you can still use this thing. I've also included a, an extension arm because on my lawn tractor, I wanted the cup to be where I could easily grab it, you know? There just wasn't a way to mount that. So what I did is I made a, it's a 10 degree tilt with a 45 degree out arm that I can have it so it's right on the lawn tractor. I'll include that as well in case somebody needs um, that. It's kind of a per specific basis. I like PETG for this. You could probably use ABS for this. If you wanted to use a, a less flexible filament than PETG, so something a little bit harder, like a PLA or something, I would recommend putting one arm in, putting the arms in the cup holder itself, and then putting it on this. So you can slide it into the base of the mount instead of trying to pull them apart and put them on the cup holder um, yeah other than that it's about all I got for you if you did like the video please drop a like if you really liked the video please consider subscribing love to have you aboard this is kind of what I do here 3d printing and prompt to stuff so if that's something you're into Come on aboard. Love to have you. The model will be on Thingiverse. And keep your amps up and your filament dry. Listen, I am what I am today because I did it my way. Nothing y'all can say. It is like